And it was definitely a fantastic weekend for us, and I yeah. hope that you had a pretty good one yourselves. It's a Monday, and as they say, hey, Mondays are for motivation. It's a day, not doomsday. I know yeah. most of you are thinking too. So let's make it a good one, okay? Yes, so yes, especially indeed. when you see nice specimens of humans like Mike in the studio, you know, all James Bond stroke Mike going down there. What's going on, Mikey? <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> wow! How's it going? Mm, we're fantastic, and uh, you know, we're gonna make him say it again in a bit. How super he is looking today! But every single week comes with its own new challenges. We all have to just get with the program. Um, it's a terrible case of the Mondays, you mm -hmm. know. We kind of yeah. dread it, that but alarm going off or you're going to work. You still have to come here. Yeah. It has happened, but we have fun all the time at work. Yeah, we're we do. We do. We're the blessed ones. Mm -hmm. And now we're reading you um, inspirational quotes. You know, we're reading a bunch of happy stuff. And sometimes we still have trouble getting going. But as soon as you think of being a part of this show, in the morning on a Monday, yes, everything indeed. gets better. Absolutely. So let's make this Monday like no other by milking every single second mm -hmm. and experience on today's show. Mm -hmm. Rose petals, they say, have, well, thorns for partners, <laughs> but it's different with you guys because we love, well, when you guys are, well, when right. we are in front of you or next to you, whichever we want to Or in it. your palm. In your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're still representing all our beautiful ladies. Yes, we are. Thank you. And uh, when it comes to being Asian, Hispanic, Caucasian, or of course African, our month-long celebration of the International Women's Month is still going on. My name is Titi Lyle Oyinson. And of course, my name is Mazino Pill. Remember, you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms to be a part of the best yeah. breakfast show on Nigerian television. Remember, you can also watch us live from absolutely anywhere across the world. We have a mobile app that you should download from Google Play or iOS. Yes, indeed. And we also implore you to follow us across all social media handles, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of it. We are at TVC Connect. Yeah. Now, let's let you know what we have lined up for the show here today. Coming up, Gloria Edoje is a LinkedIn visibility coach and lead consultant to at the Inspired by Gloria Academy, where she teaches a mid-senior level career women how to build visibility and establish a Thor uh, leadership on LinkedIn so they can get the recognition that they deserve and more and also climb the corporate ladder. Today, she will be talking about personal branding and visibility trends to embrace in 2021 and mistakes to avoid. We also have Afiz Ademola Abdurrahman, professionally known as Demo. Now, he's a student of Unilag studying chemical engineering, and uh, he's also a singer and songwriter. Currently, an independent artist. He's going to be performing for us a little later on. Dr. DK is the CEO of LookGood.com Gym, a wellness center dedicated to fitness and healthcare of his clients, of course. LookGood.com has provided uh, healthcare services to over 10,000 clients from when it started in 2015 till date. Now, the company has also trained fitness experts and provided jobs for fitness coaches. The company boasts of a high profile clientele and we're going to be finding out a lot more about that during our SME segment. All right. Well, welcome to the Monday, guys. Mm. Final week in March. Can't believe it. It's yes, a quarter sir. of the it's, year gone already. Does, does it really qualify as a final week? Because March won't end until Wednesday. So yeah, I but kinda, still, it's a final I full week. Well, final four <coughs> week. It, is it was. Yeah. It's yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. weekend, guys. What yeah. Do you, do you do anything special for you? My weekend was as weekends go. Nothing yeah. special. Yeah. Family yeah. time. Went to an yeah. animal sanctuary with the kid. Aww. And uh, it's all the way in Lekki. And I wish that we had more of those so we could have. No, no, not that one. There, there, there are some very interesting ones along that lane. Oh. And uh, yeah, it was a good weekend for, for us. me. The weekend That's is always work. Yeah, because mm. I work uh, Saturday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome, first hour for Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Mazino Appeal, and let's do the news now. 
We're staying with the recent attack by gunmen on the governor of Benue State, Samuel Autumn, where barely 24 hours after the Northern Governor Forum is describing the incident as disturbing, while also for a uh, thorough investigation. In a release by Makut Macham, chairman of the forum, Governor Simon Lalong said the attack was uh, um, another attempt by criminals to cause mayhem in Benue and the nation as a whole. He tasked all relevant security agencies to conduct a thorough investigation to fish out those behind the attack and their sponsors. Governor Lalong commended security details attached to the governor for repelling the attack and securing Governor Autumn and members of his entourage. The chairman of the forum said that all hands must be on deck to address the lingering um, the, uh, degeneration of security in the country. And meanwhile, the Nigerian Governance Forum has described as shocking the attack on Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn and his convoy. Now, in a statement signed by the chairman of the forum, Governor Kaede Fayemi, the NGF condemns the attack just as it empathizes with the governor and the people of Benue State on the sad incident. Governor Fayemi added that all hands must be on deck to uncover the identities uh, of those involved in the heinous crime. He also stated, a quote here, the NGF wishes to state categorically that the attempt to make Benue State ungovernable is unacceptable and will fail woefully, end of quote. The NGF says it will continue to encourage its members to stand firm in the service of their people and it assured um, that these acts will not go unpunished. Still on security, the Enugu State Police Command has paraded 39 suspects for various criminal offenses within one month in the state. Speaking to newsmen on the successes recorded on the periods in view, the State Commissioner of Police, Mohamed Aliu, revealed that the suspects were arrested for offenses ranging from kidnapping, armed robbery, child trafficking, cult sim, and other crimes. The police chief announced that a total of 10 firearms, 12 motor vehicles, 4 tricycles, 36 SIM cards, among others, were recovered under review. On 6 March 2021, at about 1,600 hours, and whom a ransom of 400,000 naira has been paid for the release before informing the police. The suspect had already killed the kidnapped victim, which was later found inside Sokawi. In the, in the compound, the arrest was due, was due to a report made at the division by one Edith Onya female that on the 8th March 2021, at about 1900 hours, she went out to fetch water and came back to realize that her three-year-old son was missing. He said to me any time, dear, now nah, I never come out down. Now nah, I can't, uh, I tell her, okay, that you go down. Tomorrow in the morning, I'll be in the evening, I'll go, I go come out to you. I kill our boy for a second. The father that give me money, 400,000. How are you Very sad revelations there. Moving on now, academic activities in the nation's polytechnics may be disrupted for 6th of April if the government fails to meet some demands by the Academic Staff Union of Polytechnics. This is among resolutions reached by the union in Katsina during its 99th general meeting. Members of the union are aggrieved at the lack of response by the government to several issues the union has presented to it. TVC correspondent Abdul Latif Yusuf reports. And definitely will only add to the challenges the nation faces at this crucial moment and send another set of youths home. Already, a lot of time has been wasted due to the lockdown enforced by the COVID-19 pandemic and numerous other economic realities. In view of the unresolved issues in our previous communications, spanning over two years, and after extensive deliberations, the union resolves to withdraw the services of its members across the nation in a comprehensive industrial action from the 6th of April 2002. And that's it for the news for Monday here. We'll be back again a second hour to give you some more. And you're welcome for a Monday here. Let's do the papers, let you know what's making the headlines this fine Monday, and let's hope that it's all good news. Bye.
We start with the punch newspaper this morning and we have these headlines. Autumn's attempted assassination. Governors, Middle Belt, others express anger. IG dispatches special probe squad. This on page two, by the way. IG orders security uh, beef up around Benway governor. Orders probe into attempted killing. Don't sweep assassination under um, the carpet, says Middle Belt Forum, to, as they tell the federal government. And Fulani groups claim responsibility for attacks, says Autumn won't escape next time. That is very, very sad. A look at a photo story for the Punch newspaper. Traffic on Oshodia Papa Expressway and um, the failed um, portions of the road. Um, personally, I must tell you that it is a terrible experience uh, in this part of Lagos. And under the photo stories for today, Ekiti Killings, three appear in court today, says Fire Me. NDLEA seizes 200 kilograms hard drugs in Lagos, Abuja, Kano airports. And minimum wage, National Assembly raises panel to avert strike. Let's move on now to our next paper this morning, and that is uh, The Nation. First big headline for The Nation newspaper, rage over attack on autumn. Buhari orders investigation. Nigeria on life support, says governor. At the top of The Nation, hijab, Baptist convention, protest in Kwara. And police arrest three over a kitty by-election. And stock exchange goes tough on the investors. This on the business page, 17 through 28. And at the bottom of the nation newspaper, CBN disperses 149.2 billion naira COVID-19 loans to households, 316, 865, or rather 69 benefits in first phase. And finally, for the nation, Go One pushes for rational, uh, rational president. Uh, it is South um, South Sun's turn. South South's turn says Obaseki. Let's move on now to our next um, paper and indeed the next headline from the Tribune newspaper this morning. Once again, it's on the attack of the Benue governor, Autumn. Enough of this malady. Citizens may resort to self-help, says Mark. Attempt to make Benue ungovernable will fail, say governors. And PDP condemns presidency silence as IGP orders full investigation. At the top here for the Tribune, Asu dismisses claim on fresh notice for strike. And Serap in court over missing 4.4 billion naira NAS funds. And GT Bank reports 2.8% growth in B, uh, PBT. And uh, to the side of uh, the, oh, that's the Tribune this morning, NDLEA intercepts 200 kilograms of hard drugs at Abuja, Kano, Lagos airport, and Ikiti by elections police arrest suspects over death of voters. Finally, um, 2023 YPDP jettisons zoning of presidential ticket. Find that on page 23. Committee lacks tact, says the BOT member. Let's move on to the Vanguard newspaper for a Monday here. Look at stats here. Diaspora cash remittance drops by 27% to 17.2 billion naira. Bright prospects for 2021 as Fourth quarter, 20 records, 10.6% growth. And of course, governors, APC, PDP, others rail against attack on autumn. This we've seen across all the dailies for this uh, morning. APC will soon crash. Has lost confidence of Nigerians, says Tambuo. He's living in self-delusion, say the Lagos APC. And finally... Why Treasury looting persists in Nigeria, says the Archbishop uh, Kaigama, and insecurity reps bill on restructuring state police, others gaining support. And finally, NDLEA intercepts 200 kilograms of hard drugs at Lagos, Abuja and Kano airports. And indeed, that is as much as we can take for the dailies this morning. I'm hoping that you find them, read them. And if you have comments, please make sure that you also copy them, uh, copy us in on them. We are at TVC Connect, but use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC so we can find and track them. Thank you very much. Do stay tuned. What? How can they say forgetfulness runs in the family? <laughs> it's actually genetic. I've actually heard that before. I've heard that before. And it just made me... Realized I couldn't remember where I heard nah. it. Yeah, you got it. You Must have been from your mom. I can't remember where she heard it from. <laughs> hey, you guys, yeah. right? Don't leave me. Don't leave me. 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 But so, there's a lot that runs through the family that yeah. is not even, it might not even be limited to physical, yeah. mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know, what you can see, yeah. things that are, you so, you know, you're surprised. Like, yeah. yeah, in it, like you said, this intelligence comes from the mom. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I heard that indeed. thing before. What about generosity? Yes. Where does that come from? Wow. Generosity. It has the to be the dad. Do you know what I'm doing here? Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? It's definitely the mom. Mom's yes. always Oh, please, give stop. Give What's yes. Even if it might not always be financial, but mothers always give. Well, it's not hard to believe Speaking of mothers, Yes. giving mm -hmm. 
Um, you know, there's a really famous blogger and uh, TV station owner, well, online station owner, mm. who decided to give her father, uh, well, uh, allegedly a 55 million naira vehicle. Okay. Uh, and uh, for some reason, some people on social media went after her saying, oh, a 55 million naira car. Is it, it car? Is it car he said he wanted? Why didn't you take husband home to your father? You are taking car to him. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I, exactly. Whose money is it? Ex 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 good nah. question. So, <laughs> Whose um, father is it? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> so I was just, uh, the way people jump on things just makes me a little, you know, it makes me concerned for the mindset of the average person. So this is a very successful businesswoman. Mm -hmm. No matter how, you know, it started in the beginning, but right now she is very what, successful. What really irks me is not that she, she is, is under fire now yeah. for giving you know, that's Our not what really irks me. What irks me is the fact that the person who made this statement is actually supposed to be very educated, even okay. a, a journalist and everything. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I'm like, why would you, even mm. after all of that mm. awareness, mm. put out something like that? Mm. That's well, just really, my well, what is What is this big deal about <laughs> marriage? No, see, I'm actually, I'm actually getting sick of it. Mm. Mm. Because we've seen, the, the, uh, there's this couple I was reading about yesterday. I, I don't know why mm. the name has escaped me now. Mm. She's 74, he's 84. Yeah. They've been together for 40 years. Yeah. And even over, in fact, over 40 years. Yeah. And they lived together for many years in the 1970s when marriage before living together was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. But they are very happy today. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work for some, it works for some. And it's Perfect. the same thing with marriage. Perfect. I don't know why we make, in fact, much ado over nothing. Someone is doing well with her life. Yeah. She probably already has a child of her own. Yeah. She she's, 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 she's already living her life the way she wants mm -hmm. it. If it was a guy, it would be a case of, ah, now I for you, you just enjoy it. Nah. You know, you exactly. sound red. But because it's a woman, mm. why didn't you take a husband to him? Hey, Joe. Exactly. Husband yeah. finders. <laughs> well done. It's, it's, That's it's the appalling. bit that's going to make social media, I uh, bet you. Well, <laughs> yeah, serious. It's it appalling. Is actually, it is actually, um, it's sad. When, when it comes to a father has been your guide, been your... You you know, and maybe even request, he might have requested the exactly. gift. Exactly. He, he might have actually said, oh, that's car. what I want. You know, you and she said it to give it to him. It. I mean, mm -hmm. it's the, uh, the, the brazen uh, level of misogyny is what gets to me. Like, mm -hmm. so you, uh, why, is it, why is it an issue? Mm -hmm. Why is it even a topic? Do you yeah. understand? And, you know, it's for me, uh, look, we've got to the point where everybody says, journalist, you just open your mouth and you pick one cup. Yeah. Look, you, <laughs> let me not even go to how, <laughs> you know, that side. But I'm just trying to say, look, Patriarchy, misogyny, people expect that hey, the woman should be the one to just sit down. She shouldn't be heard about. She, I mean, mm -hmm. buying a G-Wagon or something is quite a big deal. Yep. And for me, man, that's, that's rubbish. Mm -hmm. Just saying nonsense. Mm -hmm. Just saying nonsense. First Society all, is made up of you and I. Mm. The moment you realize that, the day you will have peace. Mm. Personally, you, me, I'm talking to myself now. Mm. Life has taught me that you don't care about what people say. But Your happiness must come first. Because when you put others before you, you will suffer for it. And right. when you are suffering for it, people outside will not know what you're going through because yeah. they can't be bothered. You are living according to societal standards. Exactly. Standard. exactly. You see, you see, the moment people realize that, the better for them. You mentioned something there yeah, about, 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 about that marriage, you know, because that was something that the person raised also. <laughs> I remember that the, as in, uh, Johnny and Brad Pitt were together for 10 years. Yes. Everything was very Two years okay. Of marriage. Yeah. They just married under one year plus. Everything just... You need to see how, even up till now, how dirty that divorce is. Yeah, my dog testified against this. This is what father. I'm going to say regarding this entire situation. I think it's the, like you noted, mm. the culture or the, uh, what do you call it? Mm. Relevance that we put, not relevance, I, I can't find the right word, but we put so much, it's, it's so heavy, this responsibility on marriage or yeah. marriage. It's even global. Of that. Mm. It's not a global thing, Nigeria it's itself. It's not, it's well, it might be, global. I'm talking about the Nigerian yeah. instance. We know however, to get sense, like. The Nigerian <laughs> instance. <laughs> no, it's global. <laughs> Don't compare, no, we are not on the same level as other people. And we know, but it's global, this pressure. <laughs> Look, for, my, <laughs> for me and my family, <laughs> man, I will do and buy anything for my family I would with too. my money. I have so please, kudos and congratulations. It's all social media. The individual the himself is looking for attention, and we are giving that person that attention. That's what I feel. But hey, it's okay. We've got to talk about it. Mm. Anyhow, do stay tuned. Let's do a little break here. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. It's fun times all the way up until just before 9 o'clock. We've got something to do in the kitchen. We'll let you in on it in just about a bit. It's a beautiful Monday morning, and what a great way to start down with food that will definitely make you feel good. Okay, I should stop touching my tummy. Everybody says it makes them feel hungry. But then, of course, talking about hungry, 
You can see the spread on the table. It's going to be a your malicious breakfast. And to do justice to our Thomas this morning is Chef Mo. How are you doing today? I'm fine. So your Mo, is it from Mutumrayo? No, it's from Mosum. Mosumola. Oh, wow. Really nice. So Chef Mo, what are we having for breakfast? We're having... Um Stir fried Chinese rice, egg and um, egg chicken Chinese rice. Stir fried egg chicken Chinese rice. And low end pasta with and low end pasta with prawn and garlic sauce. With prawn and garlic sauce. By the time you finish saying that, your tummy will be full, so you don't need the food again. <laughs> Let's talk about the ingredients. What are we making use of? Okay, this is chicken breast. Okay. This is our rice steaks. Okay, so you you, you cut it into yes, cubes. Yes, okay. into cubes. Okay. Our prawns, okay. basmati rice, okay. our veggies, okay. green, red, um, spring Enough onion, colors. carrots. Okay. We have our cabbage, okay. our corn flour. Okay. Now let's talk about the, all of this. Oh, sesame oil, chili sauce, ketchup, salt, vegetable oil, Spices? chicken spice, um, garlic, no. like sugar. garlic, garlic, Oh, this is chicken spice. Chicken spice. Yes, black pepper. Black pepper, okay. Then we have garlic and ginger. Garlic and ginger. What about this? Crushed pepper. Okay, yeah. crushed pepper. Sesame, what about this? Sesame, sesame seed, seed for... Okay. Um, just and you still have blended sesame oil, or soy sauce, and uh, brown browning. Yeah. Because, of course, it has to be brown. That's the <laughs> idea of the meal itself. Well, you can use um, light um, soy sauce. Yes. But okay. Dark soy sauce doesn't work. Well, mm, you can, but, but you just have to uh, yes. be very careful. Yes. Not only because of the salt, but because of the dark meat. Yes. Okay, and of course, onions. Okay, so let's get started. What's the process like? What's the first thing we're doing? Okay, so I'll be starting with my rice. The rice, my, okay. Yeah, so what so are you going to do first? First, I have to chop this. Okay. So I know the rice um, has been um, yes, boiled. A boiled so it's done. already soft and ready to go just so that we can be able to show you the entire process because we know sometimes having to go through some motions makes you miss some of the cooking process so that's what we're trying to ensure we fix this morning so the rice goes in yes what are you going to first do with it? i'm going to stir fry my veggies stir fry the veggies yes okay. but before all that i'm going to fry stir fry this okay and my eggs as well okay then set them aside okay then stir fry my veggies okay then begin to combine everything together okay okay and so let's start so let's start let's okay. show as much as we can now before we move on to okay. motivation though i believe food is enough motivation in the morning you know when someone wants okay, to motivate me just fine. give me a nice plate of food and the motivation is okay and this one that is chinese rice oh my gosh i was telling you earlier about how much off? yeah it's, yeah it's on off. Off. Yeah. Okay. I was telling you earlier about how much I love sweet and sour. Yeah. Like Chinese rice with sweet and sour makes my day anytime. I just love them. Absolutely. Oh. There are other sauces that you can try as well. Oh, yeah. like I can Chinese. even make some um, chicken curry sauce myself and some other sauces. But there's just something about sweet and sour. I don't know. They didn't use it to do Michelle, I'm very sure of that. Okay, so I'm making prawn and garlic sauce. Okay. So you can try this with I'm looking Chinese. forward to doing so. Okay, so we'll continue with uh, our cooking process here. We'll run you through what we've done so far when we get back. It's straight now to uh, motivation. All right, then. It's time for some Monday motivation. And someone who puts a smile on my face every Monday when I see her is Gloria Dozen. Now, she is a LinkedIn visibility coach, lead consultant at the Inspired by Gloria Academy. She teaches mid-senior level career women how to build visibility and, of course, establish thought leadership when it comes to LinkedIn. Uh, they get recognition, the recognition they deserve, and, of course, they earn more, climb higher up that corporate ladder. And today... We're going to be talking about personal branding and visibility. Now, there are a lot of trends that have come about in 2021, and there's some mistakes people are also making. Today, we need to talk about those. Welcome back, Lori. Amazing. I'm so glad to be here. I love being here. All right. So personal branding and visibility needs a definition before we even go into what is trending right now. 
-hmm. So let's give um, a basic definition of what that so is. So basic definition, visibility is the art of letting people know um, what you are capable of achieving, letting the right people know what you are capable of achieving. Okay. Well, personal well, branding is kind of like, you know, what, what you are known for okay. or what you want to be known for and the process of communicating that. Okay. I, I, I think that's a basic definition. Okay, so um, when I think of branding, um, I think of what comes to mind when I see this person's picture or page online right now, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe I see them in the paper. Mm -hmm. So for instance, um, if, I, if I ask you to tell me what my brand was, what would you tell me? So, I mean, I think that your brand is, well, I, I also know you quite well, so I'll say, okay. say your brand is very professional, okay. you're a journalist, you know, broadcaster, mm -hmm. and all of that. So I think there's a difference mm -hmm. between the look and feel of something okay. and what it represents. Okay. So it's the same thing like how you have a business, right? Yeah. You can have all the logos and all of that, but mm -hmm. if you, you're not quite sure of what that represents okay. and how you are going to communicate what that represents, then you are, you are, you are putting the cart before the horse. Hmm. So which should I focus on first? You're saying I should focus on the brand first before the visibility? Because I know a lot of people are very visible and they haven't put their brand out yet. Is that what you're saying? So uh, what you need to focus on is what do I need, what do I want to be known for? Okay. So when I become visible, visible for what? Hmm. Right? What am I going to be visible for? What, what am I going to be communicating? Hmm. Because you can be very popular but not get opportunities because nobody knows what you do. Okay. Nobody knows what you represent. Nobody knows your accomplishments. Nobody knows your skills. Okay. So it's first of all doing the internal before you do the external. I have uh, a few ladies that I've worked with before who are always saying, oh, they want their products to trend. They want to trend. They want to, you know, be more seen online. Um, and I never really know exactly what to tell them um, because I feel like they've not defined what they do. So if someone came to you to ask that, what would you tell them? I would say focus on meeting your audience needs, okay. right? So trending, if you're, especially if you're a product, if you sell products, if you're a career person, mm -hmm. it, trending does not necessarily lead to cash in the bank or achievement of goals, okay. right? So we have this thing a bit warped, right? Mm -hmm. The most important thing is, am I speaking to the right audience? Mm -hmm. Because you can get a thousand likes, but if nobody buys your products, if nobody hires you, mm -hmm. you know, you're still where you, all you have is just a bunch of likes, right? Okay. So the most important thing is make sure you are talking to your audience and make sure that in that communication, you are showing that you can solve problems mm -hmm. that your audience has. All right, so l let me give um, a, a basic idea. Okay, so one of the people that came out of this very famous reality show, the one that's giving out a lot of money these days, and they have hundreds of thousands of followers. And on their pages, they sell everything, everything from body magic to shoes to sh food to travel. Have they actually honed in on their brand or are they just focusing on visibility? So, I mean, it, it really depends on what this person's goal is. So if okay. you want to be a motivational speaker, if you want to do all about women empowerment okay. and things like that, then it's okay to be doing all of that, mm. right? But then the danger with those kind of things is that once you don't define your niche quickly, mm. you're going to have those kind of competitions. You're going to have new sets of winners. Okay. So, so your time yeah. is limited, right? Mm. So after 365 days and there's a new winner, <laughs> the attention moves to somebody else. Okay. So you want to make sure that you, you capitalize this visibility that you have now mm. to actually communicate strength, mm. actually communicate impact so that your brand is long lasting. All right. So um, the key is to building a long lasting brand. I think we should touch on that, especially with the, what's trending right now in 2021. So I think the keys to building a long-lasting brand is, first of all, understand what you want to be known for and niche down. The mistake a lot of people make is that they want to talk to everybody. You can't talk to everybody. Mm. You need to understand your audience, understand their needs, and understand where your audience goes. Mm. So, for example, if your audience is predominantly on LinkedIn, mm. you want to make sure that you are predominantly on LinkedIn. Okay. If your audience is predominantly watching TV, yeah. you want to make sure you're predominantly on TV stations, right? Okay. Then the next thing is, how do I communicate my brand? What kind of content do I want to share? Mm -hmm. And that is then understanding what are the challenges that your audience has that you can solve mm -hmm. and creating content around that. Mm -hmm. Now, content is so important because it's the way your brand, your people, your audience gets to experience your brand. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you're doing things like videos, mm -hmm. micro blogging. So mm -hmm. the days of writing these long articles and everything. Yeah. You know, it's, com it's coming to a, a slow but sure end at some point, right? So you want to make sh short bite-sized articles that really leave a punch, right? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you're networking with the right people and then you're networking globally, okay. right? So this idea of always focusing on your, your local niche, it's great to be known locally, but you need to start extending, extending your brand globally as well. 
All right. So, you know, you touched on mistakes. Uh, it feels like there's a long list of mistakes that a lot of people are making. I know we're not going to name names <laughs> of who's making them, but give us a few. So the first mistake I feel, especially when it comes to women, is that women, we don't talk about our accomplishments. So oh. I did a webinar yesterday, mm -hmm. and, you know, I was doing audits on people's LinkedIn pages. Mm -hmm. And I'll say, okay, so tell me about yourself. Mm -hmm. And they will tell me about themselves, but that information is not online, mm -hmm. right? So as an employer, as somebody who is looking for a service provider, if I come across your LinkedIn page, mm -hmm. I don't know what you can do for me. Mm -hmm. So that's the first mistake, not talking about our accomplishments. And then not showing up correctly, right? Okay. So not creating the right kind of content that communicates who you are and the problems that you solve. Those are some of the mistakes. Okay, so now um, I, I, I'm thinking about this content creation thing. A lot of people just have no idea where to begin. Do you think we should have someone help us create this content? or we should start learning or go for a course, what's your advice? So my advice is, first of all, understand what you want to communicate. And then if you don't have time, you can always bring someone in for you. Mm -hmm. The mistake a lot of people make is that they haven't, first of all, understood mm -hmm. what their brand is. And then you bring in someone and the person is just doing the most and you, you can't even measure the impact, right? Mm -hmm. So first of all, understand what your brand is about, what you want to communicate and how you're going to measure results. Okay. And then if you don't have time for, to do it yourself, you can always bring in somebody to help. I like the idea of, you know, embracing brand new trends, uh, things like TikTok, for instance. Some people probably never even heard of TikTok right now. Um, and I, I know that it's a very educational platform, even though there are a lot of fun challenges on it mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to embracing these new things, what's your advice? So I think it's always great to em embrace technology, right? Mm. Technology is fast moving. And if you want to be a brand, you want to be a thought leader that is known, mm. it's, very, it's very, very important that you're also embracing new trends. So I'm all for embracing new trends, embracing technology, mm. understanding how it works. My biggest fear mm. is that in five years, I'm asking my kids, how do you do this? How do you do that? You know, that's my biggest fear. So I'm all for embracing technology. All right then. Now, Glory Edozian is amazing. You should check her out online. And, of course, use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC when communicating online so we can see it and she can answer your questions. Amazing. We have so much more coming your way right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Growing up in an environment whereby there are a lot of debt around, you know, this prompts me to, like, uh, um, like I'm always inquisitive to just pick all these debts that I see, all these nylon. I just pick them, and I was like, "How can we make use of this nylon that we just pick up and down?" And I was born into weaving of Ashoke. I started weaving Ashoke since age nine, so that prompts me to like now use those ways that we just keep picking around to now create a solution around it with the weaving skill that I have. And later on, after I graduated my school. Then we started Planet 3R. My name is Adejo Kelasisi. I'm the founder and creative director of Planet 3R. What we do at Planet 3R is um, basically we convert these um, wastes that we get into beautiful eco-friendly products. And we also empower people with um, the skills that we have because we believe that uh, we don't just want to create these products and just be creating them, but we also want to um, create opportunity around it. Our process is actually in five simple steps. So the first step is um, sourcing for these um, raw materials, the waste. We call them our raw materials because that is what we use to, to create this uh, product that we do. We have about um, two collection points for now. We already told them that they know what we do and um, so they collect those waste for us, like a collection point where we just go there and um, pick up those waste because individuals cannot like be coming to our location here. And if we really want to like make this impact the way we want to do it, we need to really reach um, so many places. And for us to do that, we need to get collection places in, in different locations whereby to be closer to people that wants to bring those waste to us. So what we do is that we collect those waste from um, um, pure water factories. There are leakages. Most of them are just there too. So some organizations too, they put them up um, for us. So those are just the different ways that we collect our waste. And some, some people will pay them um, for the collection, like bringing their waste to us. So please don't throw this thing away. If it's possible for you to just get something for it, pack it together for us, bring it, we will just give you a token for it for even at least even if it's for card 
or to buy something. So that's the first step. Then um, the second step is that we bring these waste together and we wash them. So um, after collecting those waste and sorting them out, which is the first step, so the second step is actually washing washing this um, waste. As you can see, we wash those nylon one by one, and we also disinfect them. So the third step, after cleaning it thoroughly and drying it, because the cleaning and everything, the process is involves drying as well. Majorly, we dry it for about two to three days properly before we start shredding it. So our third step is shredding. One pure water sachet can give us up to like six, six inches long. So with that, we'll now shred them into like um, all the things that we need. So the fourth one is the weaving. The weaving that we already set up on the loom, as you can see, so we now take the thread, we weave it into it. So the thread, the nylon, uh, the waste consists about 90%, whereby the thread is like 10%. Then the fifth step is that this, this uh, material, the fabricated material, which is like the cloth-like material, we now convert them into different products that we want to use it to do. You can make it um, into shoes, bag, um, clothing, so different things that we can come up with uh, from that material. So those are just the five steps that we use in converting those wastes. So when we now started weaving it, so many people did not buy into this idea of like planetary arrow. Why would they be using waste? Why would they be doing this? So I now, I now did a customer discovery, customer survey, whereby we, I called um, 20 potential customers. So with that, I was able to understand what they really want, their pain, what they are facing in the environment, why they would love to be a part of our organization with the solution that we are given. So with that, they told me that if, it's, if it is attractive, if it is affordable. So those things, the, the summary, I was able to summarize all those things in like five pages. And that thing helped me a lot in, in understanding what they want. So many people started buying into the idea that, OK, this thing is attractive. They told us. And we, too, we started doing it. We, we, we listened to them, what they said, those things, and we put them into consideration. And later on, like, our products started coming out. Fair. Even when I saw that, I was like, ah, it didn't matter. Like, this thing is so fine, like, it's, 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 even me, myself, like, I was like, I can buy this thing myself now. Our solution don't create any other envir environmental hazard. We try as much as possible not to, like, um, our local way of solving that problem doesn't, like, we don't have to burn those ways to create another solution because if, if we have to, like, we are trying to solve this problem, we can't be creating another problem while, they, while solving that problem. So this loom now is locally fabricated. We get our wood, we get our carpenters to just like create those loom for us. We have them in um, different sizes, but right now we have just this size that we use. So the size that we use the loom, we make sure that we set it up. We get our thread and set it up on it. So when we set it up, that is the warp. Any cloth that you see in life consists of warp and weft. So you, you, you have your warp, you have your weft. So our warp is the thread, then our weft is those nylon waste or the textile waste. So we put it inside it and we get our product. That's, that's all I can say about that. Recycling 
is amazing. It's 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 something the society needs right now. So if you can locate her, perhaps you might carry all the uh, nylon sachet nylon you have in your house and just let's just try as much as possible to protect the environment really and talking about protecting the environment you also have to protect your health with good food <laughs> at least that's what me i believe in and talking about doing so we still have chef mo right here preparing breakfast for us today's breakfast is a three course meal if i don't <laughs> say so myself and uh, as it is one course is ready <laughs> tell us okay. about how we arrived at this Okay, first I stir fried my chicken breast okay. and my egg, egg yeah. and set it aside. Okay. And I started with my oil. Okay. Eat it up, then put onions, garlic, ginger. Okay. Then I put my um, veggies. Okay. So after the veggies, I put my rice, okay. the white rice. Okay. Then my oyster sauce, browning, sesame oil, and salt. And now it's all together. together. Okay, so what's the next thing we are doing? The lomen and pasta. Help with this. Okay. Okay. So that's one down, two more to go. So let's get started with that. As it is, eh, by the time breakfast is finished today, you might not hear from any one of us because we'll probably be too full to stand up. But it's all good. That's the idea of breakfast sometimes, as long as we can get through the week. So what did you put in now? Um, powdered garlic and ginger and with onions. As well as the pepper? With, no. Just the powdered yes, garlic and yes. ginger with, yeah, with powdered, onion. With onions, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm putting in my veggies next. Okay. Oh my god, I made a mistake. Let me do the sauce. Oh. This is supposed to be for the sauce? Yeah. Okay, let's do the sauce okay. then. You can see it's the same season for the sauce. So we'll probably do, let, let, me, let me bring the plant for okay. you, so you just pour it in. Yeah. See? I won. <laughs> you know, I was telling her earlier that we should make the sauce before we do the pasta. And she, she was like, okay, we could do okay. it that way. And then she decided, okay, we'll do the pasta first. So but first, we're going My to, with our prawns first. Okay, so if you're doing that, it has to be the prawns first. Yes, oh. it has to be the prawns first. Okay. Can I keep this here, okay. please? Okay, let me, let me move this for you. Okay. We could use the other side as well. Yeah. So we're doing it simultaneously. Okay. So you're, you're just going to cook? Add in water. The, yeah, we're okay. going to cook the pans. Like proper, proper cooking? Yes. In that case, let's, let's, let's just move this as you wanted to do. You win. Do your pasta. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> you can move it here. Uh, okay. You can move those, uh, this, uh, the vegetables. So, but is this ready? Is it boiling now? Yes. Okay. So the other side is um, the, there's heat now, so we can cook it over there. Okay. Okay. So we're back to making the pasta. She won. But it's all good. What matters is having all the food. Yeah, that's what okay. counts. Okay. So I'm supposed to add in this. This instead. Yeah. So the vegetables actually matter, and there's a reason for that. Could you tell us why? Because I've noticed when it comes to Chinese sauce, chunky vegetables are for the sauce itself. Yeah, so you can like really see the veggies in the sauce, so the, the water doesn't just swallow, swallow it up. Swallow it up. Oh, yeah, so, so that's this, why it has to be this large. Yeah. But this one is for the rice. I noticed this the, is for the, the rice. smaller and cubes are for the rice. This is for the pasta. Yeah. Okay. So, so when these veggies are fried, what do we do next? I'm going to add in my sesame oil. Okay. Sesame oil. Yeah. What then else? I'll add in my pasta. Pasta. Oh, immediately? Yes. Ah, all these fast, fast meals until you get the price tag. But it's all good. <laughs> I know this is about 800 naira. How uh, much is it now? The last time I bought, I think 750. 750, Se 800. Babe, this thing was 400. I as know. at December last year. It was 400 naira. Everything and then I up. wanted to make some of it, some, I think that was about four or five weeks ago. And I was told 800, and I was like, yeah, so please, are we going to blame inflation for this as well? It's now 800. That's too much like, now. Even like normal basmati rice, it was like five, but now it's like seven, five or so. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Importers, please have mercy on us. Please, <laughs> we are struggling. We are just trying to make sure we feel our tummy right. Eh? Please. But it's all good. Um, our meals are almost all done. At the end of it, you see the way we are going to dish it. And after dishing it, the way we are going to eat it, that doesn't sound very nice. 
Let's take this break. <laughs> it's the top of the hour. We'll be back on the other side of the hour. Stay with us as Wake Up Nigeria. Welcome to the second lap of the number one family breakfast show. And we remain so hyped here. So hyped that we want to continue with that same vibe all the way. By the way, we're still celebrating women across the globe. Without women, obviously, we men can't exist. And that is something someone made me say. But I agree. <laughs> I agree. You can't exist without I agree. us. Debate, debatable is a chicken or the egg situation. Wow, really? Was Which know? comes first? It was Adam. We come first in all things yeah. now. That all right. was back then, but now try, things don't change. Try having a go and, at it uh, yourself. Well, nothing spells a great <laughs> week ahead than starting a week right here with us. Yes, We're indeed. more than pleased that you could be with us. Uh, this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to all mm -hmm. of you. Still so much to come. Next 45 minutes. The kitchen is buzzing. Mm -hmm. So many colors. Everything's going on in there. Yeah. Loving what it's looking like and smelling it like as well. Mm -hmm. It is out of this world. Can't wait to taste it. It's really good to be in the kitchen today. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like if your birthday is March 22nd, we are celebrating on your behalf. Yes, sir. We're having a ball. And it's double celebration because Halima is back! Yay. I'm really so pumped up about this. Yes, so see ya. No, she's looking calm. Hmm. For how long? <laughs> Halima keeps everybody in check. Oh. She keeps us on the straight and arrow. So much that we have to call her Gaddafi, but it's good to have you back, Halima. It's all good. Fantastic vibes and celebrations yeah. all here, all up in the air. Loads of reasons to stay with us all the way up until the end of the next 45 minutes for a Monday show here. Yeah. Of course, my name is Mazino Appeal. And I'm Titi Laya Oni. So remember, you can use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms. Be a part of the best breakfast show on Nigeria TV. Yes, indeed. Remember, you can also watch us live from absolutely anywhere with the mobile app. Download Google Play Store or mm -hmm. on iOS. It's important that you follow us. There's so much you could miss. Uh, our handles on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at TVC Connect. Um, we have quite a lineup for you. Yes, indeed. Afiz Ademola Abdurrahman, professionally known as Demo, is a student from Unilag and is studying chemical engineering. Is it Brini? Eh? Narf. We have him performing today. He's a singer, songwriter, and uh, well, hey, we can't wait for that performance. Dr. DK is the CEO of LookGood.com Gym. Now, it's a wellness center dedicated to fitness and healthcare of his clients, of course. And LookGood.com has provided a lot of great services to over 10,000 clients. We'll be talking to Dr. DK on our SME segment this morning. Welcome back. Second time around, second hour here for Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Mazino Appeal. Let's do the news again. And we are staying with the recent attack by gunmen on the governor of Benue State, Samuel Autumn, where barely 24 hours after the Northern Governors Forum is describing the incident as disturbing, while also for a thorough investigation it's calling for. Now, in a release by uh, Makut Macham, chairman of the forum, Governor Simon Lalong said, the attack was another attempt by criminals to cause mayhem in Benue and the nation as a whole. He asked all relevant security agencies to conduct a thorough investigation to fish out those behind the attack and their sponsors. Governor Lalong commended security agencies and details attached to the governor for repelling the attack and securing Governor Autumn and members of his entourage. The chairman of the forum said that all hands must be on deck to address the lingering degeneration of security in the country. And meanwhile, the Nigeria Governors Forum has also described as shocking the attack on Benway State Governor Samuel Autumn's convoy. In a statement signed by the chairman of the Forum Governor Kayode Fayemi, the NGF condemned the attack just as it empathizes or rather emphasizes, um, empathizes with the governor and the people of Benway State on the sad incident. Governor Fayemi added that all hands must be on deck to uncover the identities of those involved in the heinous crime. He also stated that the NGF wishes to state categorically that the attempt to make Benway State ungovernable is unacceptable and will fail woefully. End of quote. The NGF says it will continue to encourage its members to stand firm in the service of the people and it assured that these acts will not go unpunished. Still on security, the Enugu State Police Command has paraded 39 suspects for various criminal offenses within the past one month in the state. Now, speaking to newsmen on the successes recorded on the period um, in view, the State Commissioner of Police, Mohamed Aliu, revealed that the suspects were arrested for offences ranging from kidnapping, armed robbery, child trafficking, cultism and other crimes. The police chief announced that a total of 10 firearms, 12 motor vehicles, 4 tricycles, 36 SIM cards, uh, among others, were recovered under review. 
on 6 March 2021 at about 1600 hours, and whom a ransom of 400,000 naira has been paid for the release before informing the police. The suspect had already killed the kidnapped victim, which was later found inside so away. In the in the compound, their arrest was due, was due to a report made at the division by one Edith Onya female that on the eighth March 2021 at about 1900 hours she went out to fetch water and came back to realize that her three year old son was missing. Very, very sad revelations there, but that's it for the news this hour. Alrighty then, for a Monday, we always look forward to our performer because it's something very, very exciting to look forward to after such a long weekend. And today, Aziz Adimola Ab Abdul Rahman, plenty of A's in there, he's uh, professionally known as uh, Demo. Now, he's a student of the University of Lagos studying chemical engineering. He is a singer and a songwriter and currently an independent music artist, and he'll be performing right now with us. First of all, Demo, let me ask now chemical engineering and music where does it mix what's the chemical equation for that i don't know no nah, it doesn't doesn't it doesn't mix at all <laughs> it, no doesn't, it, mix does it. At all. it doesn't okay so. so your love for music comes first before being yeah, an engineer yeah, yeah exactly it? exactly well, it's good to see you pursuing your passion i mean there's nothing that can stop you especially Thank when you. it's something that's inborn so i actually celebrate that with you so what are we performing today performing casanova Casanova, because you are one? No, 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 no. I'm actually saying I'm not one. Oh, yeah, so okay. Then yeah. you should have called it no Casanova. But it's your choice. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. All right, so let's see you take it away. Thank you. You know that I will always run to find you. Always lay next to you. Yeah, this your love with the back of me. See you. Oh, oh. This your love with the thought of me. Oh. This your love with the back of me. See you. Oh, oh. This your love with the thought of me. Oh, oh, oh. Baby, over, over, over. I know because I know. Nova, Nova, baby, come closer, closer, closer. I know because I Nova, Nova, Nova,
definitely some high life in there. It is. Yeah, know? that was a high life. I, I liked the feel. It reminds yeah. me of the 80s and every every track used to sound like that. It's mm. good to see it making a comeback into modern and contemporary yeah, music. I the, the like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like Nova. I like, I like the name as well. Let's guess we have here today, Dr. Dike. He is the CEO of LookGood.com Gym, a wellness center dedicated to fitness and health care of clients. Now, LookGood.com Gym has provided health care service to over 10,000 clients from when it started in 2015 up until today. Now, the company has also trained fitness experts and provided jobs for fitness coaches. Now, the company boasts of high-profile clientele, the likes of John Okafo, that's Mr. Abel, by the way, like Pasha's boss, uh, DJ KY's, uh, you, so many of them, Owen G, Regina Chuku, and so much more. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Thank Dike. You. Thank you so much. So good to have you here. Thank so, you so much. So, lookgood.com, yeah. you guys are into fitness, not just fitness, wellness. Yes. I know there's a difference. So I want to be very clear on that, whether you guys have separated the two between fitness and wellness at lookgood.com. Okay, um, what you actually talk about is a fitness and a gym. You know, fitness people don't, at the gym. And, a, and, mm -hmm. and gym. And people, gym. Yeah, people don't really understand the meaning of uh, fitness and uh, like how to combine the both of them okay. together. You know, when you talk about gym, it's where you go, you see these people with big muscles. Yeah, and very all oppressing that. guys. I don't yes. like, I, they, they, yeah. they make me not go to the gym because yes. I'm like, me and my little pot belly, like looking yes, at them, exactly. I'm so discouraged. Exactly. So, <laughs> and then you have fitness. Yes. Where you talk about people's wellness, people's yeah. health. You know, someone is having actually knee pain, back pain. When you get to a fitness center, those things are actually being taken care of. Okay. And then someone who wants to know about nutrition, someone who wants to know what to eat and what not to eat. When mm. you go to a fitness center, you know, according to your health, because some people actually go to the internet and actually upload uh, uh, diet plans okay. without understanding the climate, without understanding the, even the states where and the people the are going from. the habits of the individuals there Yes, are, exactly. Uh, you know. So, but in a fitness center, all these things are being uh, noticed and then being put in the procedures and how one can actually eat and what one can actually eat mm. and all that. So. Okay, so um, let's talk about your business first of all. You guys started in 2015. And you both have such high profile clients, by the way. Yeah. How did you manage that? And is that an influence to how far you have gone? Did you have to leverage on these personalities to actually push your business as well? Yes, That's of course. It's a very course. strategic question. I yeah. bet it's a very big strategy by yeah. you as well. Actually, you know, I, at some point I noticed that most of the celebrities actually doesn't go to the gym. Okay. So what I did was I actually write to them and I tell them, you know what, I want to host you people. I want to be your trainer. Nice. And then if you actually enjoy it, then let's do business. So okay. like John Okafor and all that. So when I spoke to him, you know, he said, okay, let's do something together. So I actually spoke to I actually interviewed him mm. about head and fitness. Mm. And then I used that as an example to other people. Mm. You get to like his kind of body. He, mm. He's uh, very flexible. He doesn't take alcohol. He doesn't do really? a whole lot. Yeah, he does. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, he's very fit. You know, so working out with him actually influenced others to mm -hmm. actually join the gym. People that have the kind of stomach that he mm -hmm. has. And Interesting. All that. <laughs> yes. I saw you look left or right. Did I just yeah. say that? <laughs> it's all good. But so there are many fitness centers, many gyms around the place. Yeah. You've been around for six years. And you have done so well. I can see um, your, your list of profile people and, and all of that. Yeah. Uh, what are the other gyms doing wrong? I think it's management, actually. Okay. So many people, there are some people that are investors, not fitness experts. Mm -hmm. So someone who has the money thinks he can actually open the gym. So when he opens a gym and then people ke keep coming and at some point when there is no professionals to take care of, then mm -hmm. the, the customer base will start dropping. Yeah. Do you understand? But when you understand the business, when you open the business, you actually employ experts. Mm -hmm. So when you employ experts, people will keep coming. The more they come, the more they see results, the more they tell their nice. friends, the more they tell other people to come and all that. So you're focused on delivering a product which is wellness to yes. people by also by also creating jobs for uh, the right kind of people exactly. the experts exactly. so that actually feeds your business feeds what people need and all exactly. but that's not an easy fit how do you go about now i'm, t I'm thinking from a, p a standpoint of someone who perhaps maybe wants to open a wellness center yeah. no matter how small how small do i start what do i need yeah. who do i need as my uh, employees that kind of thing like, like most of the people I train to become fitness trainer because there's no actually a basic oh, pause. Yes. So you are also a fit uh, a fitness coach as well. Are yes, you? yes I am. Why did you come with such a bogus shirt? <laughs> you come with a tight fitting one so you can see all the like like I said like like I said I'm a fitness expert, expert. not a bodybuilder. Aha, uh -huh. is it okay. different? Okay. Do you understand? So, so you were about to tell us about how one can get into this. Kind yes, of like I said, the, the people have trained, the young people have trained because a lot of people have the mind to actually help people mm -hmm. to get back their shape. 
So, but they don't know the way to go about it, and we don't have a standard school that actually teaches fitness mm -hmm. here in Nigeria. So, I try to like um, train a whole lot of youth, and then when I train them, I let them understand that you don't really need the big money mm -hmm. to buy a lot of dumbbells, a lot of gym equipment, to so actually open your own gym. Mm -hmm. So, all you just need to do when you know the job, have a, open a little fitness studio. So, the more people come, the more turnout you have, you'll be able to expand to the next level. Interesting, you know. So. And you've also used social media as uh, one of those uh, tools to leverage on to get people's attention to exactly. your gym. Exactly. What's your social media handle again? It's that's uh, at lookgood.com, lookgood, D-O-T-C-O-M, mm -hmm. underscore, that's on Instagram. Okay. And then I have the Twitter, that's uh, at lookgood.com. Okay. And yeah. then you have a website? Yes. At lookgood.com.ng. Look .ng. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't laughs> <No, no. laughs> It's all good. So let's 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 get personal here. So okay. I have had a running battle with the fact I've got spaghetti arms, okay. and the older I've gotten, I've I'm getting the whole married man little pot you know, belly thing, pot belly, Buddha belly. I like yeah. to call it Buddha, Buddha belly. belly. Yeah. Um, so I've recently uh, engaged in portion control. While okay. it has helped, I still feel a bit. You know, I don't know what to do. I do take power walks okay. uh, as much as I can, although I'm really lazy now. So looking at me, handsome little me, yes. what would you suggest? And like I said, a lot of people don't really have time to go to the gym. Mm. So I try as much as I can to actually engage people in online training. Mm. You understand? So you may not have the dumbbell in the house. The, you can actually get your, your like, loose water, put mm. sand in it. Well, and I, I lift my that. daughter sometimes. <laughs> so when, when some people don't actually have someone to leave, <laughs> so you can actually use the, the water Buckets. as a dumbbell and then you know, do your sit-up in the house and then portion control, like you said. Mm. You get just watch what you eat and all that but there are other workouts you can actually do at home, even in the office. Like I used to tell people, because if the way you used to sit in this office, if you mm. sit here now for a long time, at the end you start having back pain ah, sometimes. Yeah, so if you sit for all that long time, you can, there are some stretches that you need to do. Mm. So I try as much as I can to put that online to make people understand that these are the kind of exercises you can do when you sit for a whole long time, mm -hmm. do you understand? And then when you stand also, you start developing knee pain, yeah. ankle pain and all that. So there are a whole lot. But like I said, I used to tell people, watch out for the kind of workouts you do that you see online. Mm -hmm. Because some of them might not actually suit your bone, it might not actually suit your body. Mm -hmm. So you try as much as you can to actually be careful in checking out some of the workouts you do online. Mm -hmm. So you all know? of this information, is this academic? Did you have to go to school to get all of this? Yes, actually, I heard physiotherapy and health education. Physiotherapy and health yes. education. Okay. Yes. Um, so that also has influenced how uh, uh, your uh, whole organization has you know, been structured and all that. What yes, about exactly. those people who are in it for the business? Yeah, and I ask that deliberately because... <laughs> People are looking for the next thing to do that's going to bring them money in their pockets. Yeah. Is it something that they can endeavor in as well? Do you suggest? Yes, there's a whole lot of money in fitness. Mm, okay. Yes, you know, like without the knowledge that you have, however, how can they be as successful? Yeah, like I said, when you open this kind of business, you actually make sure you employ professionals mm. to actually, like I serve as a, a consultant to some other people who want okay. to open a gym uh -huh. center. Yes, okay. I actually help them to actually get a professional also to manage this gym so that the gym will have a long time client. Because mm. it's not all about opening the gym with a good structure and all that. So by the time you have that good structure, people come in and they don't see a result, they end up to stop coming at the gym. Oh, wow. Yes. That's very, very interesting. I would like to pay you a visit. Um, <laughs> I'd like you to, to even sign on to um, your uh, regimes and everything because yes. I, I need to, I need to get out. fit for Elizabeth. You won't get that. That's a joke from <laughs> earlier. But uh, it's all good. Great to have you here, Dr. Thank Dickie. You so much. We Thank want you. to um, also share how um, appreciative we are that you can make it here. Um, are you on any diet currently? Because we're about to stuff you. I can eat anything. You can eat anything. Actually, That's another thing. <laughs> can I eat anything and still be fit? Okay, now the thing is this, you can actually eat anything you want to eat, but it depends on the time you want to eat it and the portion you take. Now the secret is this, don't wait to get hungry before you eat. That's just that. So program yourself I'm with the time. Right now. <laughs> just program yourself on the time that you want to eat. If you can say, okay, in the morning I'm going to take this, by 2, by 1 p.m. I'm going to take this, and the night I'm going to take this When fruit. should be my last meal? Uh, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. is yes. fine. 
Yes. Uh, however, should I do cabs or just... No, not cabs. Never Fruits, cabs. fruits. You fruits can do cabs in the afternoon, yeah, but fruit. in the evening, okay. you can actually do fruits. Where's my pen? I need to... <laughs> you know, I'm just going to pay you a visit. You know what? Hey, let's stuff you with some okay. good, nourishing, great stuff. Do you I've know got the ladies who will take care of you. Over here, please. Make sure he's well stuffed Thank and all. You. So, you know, all the wonderful <laughs> things you were saying, and then I heard you say there's money in it. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, my ears started perking. Like, wow, you just said there's money in it. Yeah. Oh. Miss it. Okay. Welcome to the kitchen. Right. Thank you Today's so chef much. is Chef Mo, wow. and she's made this incredible breakfast. You mm. see this? Yeah. Breakfast for champions. Yes. Sir. Not for health fitness. No. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Please all right. dig into it. Please have a taste. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is breakfast. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sister Aisha, cool. we can wait till the end of the show. Well, we have to. We, no, we are, we're yeah, legally obligated to. Uh, my, see, see, the way, see the way I'm holding my hands. Oh, okay. Dig in. Do you like mm -hmm. it? This is nice. Uh -huh. this is nice. Yes. Okay, yes, so what, yes. what, what, what are you feeling with this? What are you feeling? Mm -hmm. Talk to us. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? This is awesome, actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Please tell us um, how we can get more of this. Mm -hmm. okay. How we can what? How we can get it? How oh, can okay. we get it? You can just order up on Instagram. Okay. Through my page, Mo's Regal Kitchen. You can send Mo's me. Mo's Regal Kitchen. kitchen. Wow. Yes. You can All send right. me a DM and I'll give you your food right away. This Once you is, pay, though. This is worth the DM. <laughs> Trust fact, me. It is. Look at all the chicken. Honestly, you all cannot shrimps. imagine what we are smelling right now. We are all trying our best to act like untrained people. Yes, so we're very We'll just. Uh, Say mm. our goodbyes right now while Mazino <laughs> looks ready to pounce. Yes, so. but it's all good. <laughs> but it's been a marvelous Monday, guys. Hey, Mike and Mazino looking all hey. dapper over there. Please leave. The, make sure exactly. We have some They're like, let's thing. get out of here. Yeah, just, yeah, don't, don't, don't take all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for watching today. Yes, and be sir. sure to join us again tomorrow, bright and early from 7 a.m. A big Thanks. shout out to everyone, all the guests who've been part of the show today. It's amazing on Mondays, Tuesdays. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So you need to make sure you're here for all of it from 7 a.m. People, thank you, Chef Mo. Thanks for our contributors today. Thanks to everyone who has been a part of the Bye. show today. Have a fantastic week. Bye. And thanks to Mike and Mazino. We'll see you guys. Bye. <laughs>